Hi, my name is Bertrand Dirk, and today we'll be discussing about what hemiplegic migraine is. So, have you been diagnosed, or may you think you suffer from hemiplegic migraines? Well, today we'll be going into greater detail so that you have a clear understanding of what hemiplegic migraine is, as well as the potential causes of this condition, as well as the other possible treatment options to help with this condition that you may have. So, what is hemiplegic migraine? Now, hemiplegic migraine often have quite alarming presentation due to the symptoms being similar in nature to those of a stroke, multiple sclerosis, epilepsy, or various metabolic disorders. Hemiplegia is where one side of the body is weakened or even fully paralyzed. Now, hemiplegic attacks often happen with more common symptoms of migraine like headache, aura, nausea, and vomiting. Because of this, hemiplegic migraine is actually a subcategory of migraine with aura. Now, there are two types of hemiplegic migraine. The first one called familial hemiplegic migraine and the second called sporadic hemiplegic migraine. So, the first being familial hemiplegic migraine is basically linked to genes and family members. Several genes have been linked to hemiplegic migraine. Due to this, when a sufferer has one or more distinct family members also suffering from these symptoms, that is now called and referred to as familial hemiplegic migraine. Whereas the second one called sporadic hemiplegic migraine is when a sufferer does not have any family members who experiences this condition. Thus, it is then called sporadic hemiplegic migraine. And this is because the sporadic gene mutation that have been found in these people. Now, the prevalence of both types of these hemiplegic migraines are actually quite low, with some research saying as low as 0.01%. Now, as sufferers often present with brainstem symptoms plus migraine with aura symptoms, they are often mistaken as ep epileptic attacks and treated unsuccess unsuccessfully as such. So, what are the symptoms of hemiplegic migraines? Let's list through them. Basically, pain in the head is usually unilateral, meaning one side of the head. Often one-sided feels weak or even paralysis and down one half of the body, whether it be the arm, the hands or the leg. You may also have a loss of motor control or muscle control. You also have the inability to comprehend or formulate language as you may not be able to speak clearly and thoroughly. You may also have numbness and tingling down the face or down the arm or the leg. You may also have dizziness, drowsiness, double vision or any other visual disturbances. Now, because of the nature of these symptoms, a diagnosis must exclude a raft of other conditions. Examples include severe migraine with aura, hemiplegic stroke, conversion disorder, multiple sclerosis, epilepsy, or other metabolic disorders. As there has been some link to minor head trauma and hemiplegic migraine, this may be used as information to aid in the differential diagnosis. So then, what are the causes of hemiplegic migraine? Now, in hemiplegic migraine, there has been an established genetic component in both familial and sporadic types. Mild head trauma has also been linked as a potential trigger. Other research such as um, that suggests the dysfunction in iron channel through the flow in the brain and central nervous system is another component of hemiplegic migraine. However, there have been other sufferers with hemiplegic migraine where there are no signs of pathology or disorders. In these patients, a sensitized brainstem may be the cause of their hemiplegic migraine. And it is, it is this 
that the sensitized brainstem receives inputs from various nerves around the body that would usually be perceived as safe and interprets them as a threat. This now overactive and hyper excitable brainstem can then actually trigger pain and symptoms in the form of a hemiplegic migraine as a response to this threat. So basically the new modern research also suggests that the actual neck, the first three vertebrae of the neck, is, has a dysfunction which causes the brainstem to be hypersensitive and that then in turn causes pain to proceed up into the head but also the other symptoms going down through the body as well. So then, if we now know the potential causes, what are the potential treatment options out there? Now, sufferers of hemiplegic migraine would have usually tried a huge and variety of treatments and medications. They have gone through painkillers, tryptan medications and even antidepressants. Some patients have even tried and been treated for epilepsy. Now, while some of these medications have some effect, patients are often left with the same symptoms in the end. So, this is where finding the root cause of the symptoms can help with the treatment. So, if you have been treated or if you have um, been proven that the brainstem in the neck is the cause of your condition, then treatment can actually be commenced immediately. My question to you though is, if you do suffer from hemiplegic migraine, have you actually seen a headache consultant to assess the first three vertebrae of the neck to prove whether or not your brainstem is the cause of your hemiplegic migraine? Now, if you haven't seen a headache consultant, then I would strly urge that you do because the only way to treat this condition is to find the underlying root cause. Now, the research has shown that the brainstem is an underlying root cause of hemiplegic migraine and the research is also showing and proven that if the brainstem is treated, then the hemiplegic migraine symptoms can be reduced or resolved significantly. So I urge you, if you have not, to seek a headache consultant to see whether or not they can help you and treat by desensitizing the brainstem. And this can be done by actually treating the neck itself to target the brainstem. Now, if you have any further questions, feel free to comment below or contact us through our medias and socials below. Once again, my name is Bertrand Dirk. I hope you have found value in this video in understanding what hemiplegic migraine is the cause and the other potential treatment options to help this condition. Thank you. Thank you.